Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new around here, then hello, my name is Sarah Jane. Today I'm going to be talking about my new curlers, which I have. I haven't actually used them yet, and I thought it would be a really good opportunity to actually use them for real while I'm filming, so you can see my initial reactions and also see what it looks like at the end. Now, I actually had my hair curled with these curlers um, a few weeks ago when I did a photo shoot and I loved the way it looked. So fingers crossed I'm going to be able to recreate what she did with it, but yes, first of all, I need to wash my hair and dry it and then I will get started with these curlers but let me just show you them first um i got this set so it's actually a gift set even though that i bought it for myself and they are the ghd arctic gold um curve gift set so it comes in a really nice roll so it comes like this and this is just so beautiful um just white with gold detail and then it unclips if I can do it. So it unclips and unravels like this. And then inside, so I'm assuming this is like a heat pad as well. So as you're using it, you can pop them on there. And then the actual curlers look like this. So it's quite a big um, barrel. I've just noticed actually that these are black. Now I'm doubting whether or not these are the actual curlers that she used on me, but we'll see, we'll give them a go. Okay, so this is my hair freshly washed and dried. I have no product on there at all. Um, sometimes what I do is I actually go ahead and put a little bit of um, dry shampoo in my roots, just because my hair is really, I've got loads of it, but it's actually quite fine. So fine hair, but lots of it. So it kind of feels quite weighty. I also have quite greasy hair as well, um, which is good in one sense because it keeps it nice and healthy, um, but also gets quite weighed down and quite flat. So I just kind of put a bit of dry shampoo in there just to, I don't know, soak up the oil <laughs> and make my roots a little bit more gritty so that um, you can get a bit more volume, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna go ahead and just um, put some of my hair up. I'm gonna go just kind of above my ear and I'm gonna put that in a clip. And then I'm gonna brush my hair. Now when she did it, she took quite big sections. Um, so I'm gonna take a good sort of inch section. And she also did it upwards. And she didn't, uh, I'm trying to do this just with the viewfinder. So this is gonna be really difficult. And she kind of did it like that. So just wrapping it round on the inside, holding it and then letting it go. Okay. I really hope these were the same ones. I'm really doubting it. We'll see. I'm not going to be able to um, go upwards on the back so I'm just going to go downwards and hold that. So I opened it up and then wrapped it round and then I'm clamping it down with it and then letting it go. Hmm. I'm going to try and do it like this. Sorry, you've gone so dark. Ah, that's a better curl. We'll try it like that instead. I 
I've always struggled to use tongs like this, which is why I tend to just use the wand um, or my straighteners. So we'll see how this goes. <laughs> I think I'm going to try and do this one again. So pull it out. Hold. And the top of this is like rubber, so the top doesn't get hot, which is good. Yeah, I feel like that's a better way to do it for me because I just wasn't getting very much curl. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and do a few more layers and do it in the mirror rather than in the screen so that I can see a little bit better. And then I'll show you again once I've done one more layer. Okay, so this is what it's looking like with the second layer and it's kind of, more curls on the bottom rather than the top. I don't know if I'm just not doing it very well at the moment, but I'm gonna go ahead and do the top. Um, again, I'm gonna do it in the mirror because it's much easier. Um, yeah, not overly feeling it at the moment, but we'll see what it's like with the top layer done. I'm back for a quick second because I'm halfway doing the top and I feel like I'm getting the hang of it a little bit more now. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do some more and then when I'm on the final section, I'll do it on camera so that you can see what I've been doing. I feel like the curls are getting a bit better. Right, so I'm gonna hopefully show you how I've been doing the curls, which has been going a little bit better. So putting it on halfway down and then just slowly moving down just before you get to the bottom, spin it, and then pull it all the way down to the end again, and then just curl it up and hold. And then just letting it go, and that gives a much nicer curl. So I'm gonna finish off the rest and then show you what it looks like when I've done all the curls and then try and style it. Right, I just filmed a little bit and kind of zhuzhed, zhuzhed my hair a little bit and then it wasn't recorded. So basically what I was saying was this side of my hair um, seems to be a lot better than this side, but it's because this is my dominant side, so I kind of find it a little bit harder to do this way, and then this side's turned out much better, but also this side has the bulk of my hair because I have a side part in. But I'm kind of pleased with how these curls came out. I think it just needs a little bit more practice. Uh, but what I'm gonna do now is kind of just go like this with my fingers, which I have kind of done a little bit already, um, into the curls just to break them up a little bit and make them a little bit softer. Sorry that the light keeps going light and dark. I should have put my ring light on. Um, and then I'm gonna take my Tresemme Expert Selection Make Waves, High Definition Waves and Curls, and just kind of spray that on as I'm rubbing it through my fingers, just to give it a bit more texture. Okay, so there we go. It's not perfect just because I'm still practicing, but hopefully it kind of gives you an idea of what kind of curl it gives. I would say that if your hair was any shorter than mine, they probably wouldn't be um, very good for you, but definitely if it was longer, I think it would give really nice, uh, nice loose curls. I definitely need to work on doing this side of my hair. But yeah, I really hope that you've enjoyed this video and if you do try out these curlers, let me know what you think and let me know if you like these waves. But thank you so much for watching. If you did like this, then make sure you give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date with all of my latest videos. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you again next time. Bye.